We have to show like different things every morning that we should do. <laughs> Nice tall stand positioning. 
again. Excellent. Kind of give yourself a little bit of a shake there. All right, we've got some lunges. So let's warm up. We'll start with lunges, little squats, and we'll get into those hamstrings a little bit. So standing up nice and tall, just the hands and the hips. We're going to step back into that lunge, and then all the way up. And then that nice step back into that lunge, and then all the way up. Good job. Alternating that leg, I want you to think about sending that weight right down the center, pressing through that heel, and pushing through this forward leg. Excellent. Good job. Listen to those hands above the head. Let's get a nice big stretch. Big reach as we come back. Good. And that nice big reach all the way up. Try to draw those shoulders away from the ears. Good. Let's go one more time each side. So that right or left leg. Good. And then that left and right. Beautiful. Give those legs a shake. Feet a little bit wider than you with the cart. We're going to send it into a squat just to warm up through those glutes. So setting that thumb back. And then that nice big press all the way up. Good. So when we're here, we're going to think about loading the hips, loading the hamstrings. Press into that core, squeezing the glutes all the way up. We're going to finish out that move. Tap the hips, engage the core. Good. Let's go four. Beautiful, you guys. Here's three. Last two. Nice. And we've got one more. And one. Bring ourselves all the way up and out. Good. Shake with those legs. We're going to take it into an airplane. So I want you to come onto that right leg. We're going to work in through the hamstring here. Setting our weight into that right leg, we're going to zip up through that leg. Engage through the thigh, nice and strong through the core. Hands up to the side can help with a bit of balance if you need it, or you can keep those hands along at your side. You're going to hinge at the hip. Head and ankle are going to act as one. So we've got that nice straight line coming all the way forward. We're going to engage that hamstring. We're going to reach and pull ourselves back in. Try not to tap that foot on the floor, but of course, and you need that stability when you come up. A little tap with that foot to find that balance again. Good, that nice pinch. Make sure that you're not opening up through that hip. If you find that you are, I want you not to go quite as far. All right, keeping that core engaged. Let's do three more. Woo! Nice extension all the way out. Finding that spot that's not moving is definitely going to help. Good, and you're going to draw it in. Use that lower body, pull, pull, pull. Last one here. Good, and that nice pull all the way in. Good job. All right, readjust. You're going to take it to the left side. So before you start, make sure you're nice and tall. Draw yourself all the way up. Draw that core in. We're going to hinge forward. Good, and we're going to pull ourselves in. Now I want you to pay attention. How is your left side to your right side? Maybe you can't go as far. Maybe that hip wants to open up. Right? Maybe your stability on this ankle isn't as strong. Good, try and keep that foot off the ground when you pull. And we're going to draw it in. Good job, you guys. Nice extension all the way back. And then draw it all the way in. Good. Let's do three more. Nice lift. All the way back. And we're going to bring ourselves all the way in. Good. Here's two. Beautiful. And that nice pull. Nice. And then we're going to go three. Good. And we're going to draw it all the way in. Good job. All right. Give those legs a shake. I want you to take it to a wide second position because we've got these today. So we'll get into some plies with them. We're going to come down to our plie and I want you to do a nice reach out in front for me. So when we plie, we're going to reach to the front and then you're going to draw in through those arms. Good. So a nice reach. Sending those knees towards the toes. Pressing through the heels, the center of the foot. And draw it in. Good. Big reach. And draw that in. Excellent. Big stretch. Round it through the back. Good. Draw those elbows in nice and tight. Beautiful. Nice big reach. And bring it in. Good, and a nice big reach. And bring it in. Let's do two more right here. Big reach. And in. Good, last one. Big reach. And draw that in. Excellent. You can bring those feet all the way together. All right, a little bit of a warm up there for us. Let's get ready with our workout. So I want you guys to grab your weight, no weight, your cans, your wine, whatever it is that you have available. All right. We're going to find ourselves nice and tall. I got no weights. All right. <laughs> Excellent. We're going to take those weights. We're going to lift them up to the side on our weights. 
palms are gonna face forward. We're gonna start with a simple little roll or simple little circles, bringing those arms all the way forward. So right here, I want you to think about engaging through the shoulders, getting those little rolls. Good, keeping that chest up nice and tall. Draw that tummy in. Excellent. We're just doing those small little circles, warming up through the shoulders. And again, weighted or unweighted, it's totally up to you. Remember, don't death grip those weights if you have them nice and light on those arms. Good job. We're going to hold it here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Arms are out. We're going to take it backwards this time. So now we're going to pinch through the back part of the shoulder as we do nice little circles coming all the way back. Excellent. Just again, nice warm up for those shoulders. Excellent. We're going to do a few more seconds here, holding those arms up. Keep that core engaged. Think about that lower body always working. We're going to go for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those arms down. Sink to a lateral. Bring those arms up and down. That nice lift and down. Good. Pull it through that side shoulder. Nice and long. Shoulder height. Nice. Lift and down. Lift and down. Good. So we're a little bit quicker here, right? We've got light weight, so we're going to do a few more reps than we normally would just to warm those up, arms up. Good. Nice. Lift. And down, lift and down. Find that breathing, nice exhale and pull, lift and down. Good, let's go five, we're gonna hold it up. Four, we're gonna add a little pulse. Let's go three, good work. Two, here's our hold, ready? Little lift, little pulse, little lift. Eight, good work. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those arms all the way down. Excellent. Little shoulder rolls. Let's bring those arms up so we're holding like a plaid. Palms are going to face up. We're going to take it to a front shoulder press. So we're going to press through that one arm and bring it in. We're going to press through the shoulder and bring it in. So we're going to lift and down. Lift and down. So when we lift, I want you to think about lifting through that front of that shoulder and then pulling through the back. Tuck the elbow in. Lift and down. And lift. And down. Now, again, we've got that light weight, so I want you to try to find that resistance, that nice press and pull. Press and pull. Now, don't worry, lots of reps, right? Low weight, we can go higher on our rep count. Good, nice press and in. And we're always being aware of that lower body on everybody. Check your core, make sure those hips are tucked, right? We're nice and strong. Good, lift and in. Let's go six. Beautiful. And five. Here's four. Last three, two, nice, and one. Now we're gonna double it, so both arms. Lift, and in, good. Reach, and in, lift, and in, nice. Again, not death gripping that weight, pressing through the shoulders, good. Palms are facing up, lift, and in, nice. Up, and in, lift, and in, good. Eight, we're gonna hold it. Seven, of course we are. Six, little pulses. Five, almost there. Here's four. Good job. Three, two, last one, we're gonna hold it. One, little lift. Ten, nine, eight. Now we're not gonna stop. Six, we're gonna keep those arms up. Four, three, two, hold it long. We're gonna rotate those hands. So we're gonna come down and up. Good. Down and up. So that nice rotation, right? Twist through that shoulder. Twist. And down. Good. Almost there, you guys. Last six. Beautiful. Five. Stay strong on those shoulders. Four. Woo. Here's three. Good work. Two. Last one. One. And up. Bring those arms all the way down. Good job. Give those shoulders a little bit of a roll for me. All right. Stay in that first position. We're going to tuck those elbows in. We want to make like a W with our arms, all right? We're going to press through the shoulder and we're going to pull back through those arms. Slightly tucking those elbows in behind our back. So we've got that nice wide. Press it out and in. Good. Out and in. Press through those shoulders as we lift nice and long, right? And we're quick here. Lift and down. Lift and down. We want to tuck the elbows in when we come in. Lift and down. I want you to press through those shoulders. I know you can feel it. Lift and down. Up and in. Up and in. Good. Press. Last eight, here we go. Eight, we're gonna hold it up. Seven, good job. Six, here's five. Woo. Four, three, two, we're gonna hold it up, ready? And one, little pulse, a little press, and 
eight, or nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna bring them in behind, we're gonna pulse to the back. So tucking those elbows in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, release. Woo, give those shoulders a little bit of a shake. Remember, if you're feeling them, you can always go to that no weighted option. We're gonna bring those hands up. Again, we're gonna make that 90 degree bend. This time, palms are gonna face towards each other. And we're gonna work on the back of the back, so we're the delts. So we're gonna pull through the shoulder blades and then bring it in. All right, so up nice and tall. You wanna exhale on your pull as you open and in. Here we go, so that squeeze and together. Good, squeeze and together. So when we're here, I want you to think about, I'll turn this way, squeezing with those shoulders right away. Pinch them together as you open. Open and close, good. Squeeze and together, squeeze and together. Nice. When we're here, a little squeeze at the back, hold it for a second. Good work. Open and in, and open and in. Nice. Let's go eight. We're going to open it up. Seven. We're going to add that pulse. Here's six. Good job. Last five. Woo. And four. Let's go. Three. Two. Last one. And one. Little pulse. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Nicely done, you guys. Give those shoulders a little bit of a roll. All right, let's take it to our triceps for our last little bit of work. We're going to repeat those shoulders one more time, but we'll worry about the triceps right now. So feet underneath the shoulder, underneath the hips. Another option is you can, if you need it for that lower back, this is bring one foot forward. But if we can have those feet underneath the hips, we're going to hinge forward so we've got that nice flat back. We're going to tuck those arms in. We want a 90 degree bend. When we come forward from our triceps, I want you to make sure that you're not pulling those weights in towards the shoulders. They're going to stop at that 90. All right, we're going to have our little kickback. So we're going to go lift and in. Good. Press and in. Now, tuck the tailbone just a little bit. Draw that tummy in. So we're protecting that lower back. We're nice and strong in our core. Good. And you want to have that squeeze. And in. Lift and in. Now, again, light weight, so we're going to go lifting through those triceps, pressing at the top, good, lift, and in. Bring those shoulder blades together, nice and long through the neck, through the back, lift, and in. Let's go eight, good work, seven, we're going to hold up the pulse, six, we're going to pulse up, and then we're going to pulse in, five, good, four, let's go three, two little pulses, here we go, a little ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Bring it in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to release those arms. We're going to stay in this position. This time, hands are going to hang down in front of us. Shoulders are going to be back. We're going to add a lift nice and wide. So we're making like a V position when we come up. We're going to pull shoulders. Okay, here we go. Lift and down. Lift and in. Up and down. Again, check that core. Draw that tummy in. And when we lift, right away, from the shoulders, get that pull. Up and down. Good work. Lift. Remember to exhale. A little lift. A little exhale on that lift. Good. Up and in. Nice and gentle, guys. Little squeeze. Hold for a second at the top. Good work. We're going to go eight. Now we're going to hold it up. Seven, we're gonna add that pulse. Six, good job. Let's go five. Here's four. Last three. Ooh. Two. Now we're gonna hold that ready. Little pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Here's six. Five, four, three, two. Keep holding. Bring it in. We're gonna bring it together. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Release those arms. Ooh, excellent. Let's just quickly put those weights down if you have them in front of you. We're going to take a second here to stretch. Bringing those hands up front. Let's stretch out through that back. Good work, you guys. Now, we're going to do that one more time. We're going to start from the W with the shoulder press. Good work. And then release. Excellent. Let's bring that right arm up front. Just stretch real quick for those triceps. We'll start with the W. We'll go into our 90 degree external rotation and we'll take it to those triceps one more time. Good, release. And that 90 
nice stretch right here. Other side, beautiful. All right, and find that release. Okay, grabbing those weights. Last set right here. Remember, we wanna tuck those elbows in nice and tight. We're gonna use the shoulders, finding that first position. Tuck the hips, squeeze everything together. We're nice and tight, here we go. Let's go up, and then tuck. Lift, and then, beautiful. Press through those shoulders. Those triceps are doing the work here, so these shoulders should be rested a little bit to get that press. Good job. Press and release. Lift and release. Nice. Ten. Beautiful, you guys. Nine. Of course, our little pulses. Here's eight. And seven. Good work. Let's go six. Press through the shoulders. Five. Squeeze through the back. Four. You got it. Three. Let's go two. Last one. A little ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull them in. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Tap them back. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. We're going to find that 90 degree bend. Now we're going to add that rotation. So we're going to squeeze and in. Good. Right away, as soon as you go to pull, pull from those shoulders. In. Good job. Out. And in. Now make sure, double check that lower body. Are those hips tucked? Is that core engaged? Squeeze and in. Squeeze and in. Nice. Pull. Find that resistance. Pull it apart. Let's go. Eight. Beautiful. Seven. We're going to pull and pull. Six. And five. Let's go four. We're going to want all these arms in a little bit here. Let's go two. Good. And ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Find that relief. Good job, you guys. Okay, triceps are our last one. Triceps are a little bit for those shoulders. So finding that hinge forward, you're gonna bring those elbows up, lock it in nice and tight, nice and long through the body. Let's go tricep extensions. Here we go. Lift and in. Good. Tuck it in. Tuck them out. Big squeeze at the top. Beautiful. Lift and down. Up. And in. Good work, you guys. Make sure you've got that little exhale at the top. Nicely done. Nice and strong. Let's go eight. Get that squeeze. Seven. Nice. Here's six. And five. We're going to hold the pulse. Four. Nice. Remember, stop with that 90. Two. Last one. Little ten. And up. Eight. Seven. Six. We're going to squeeze in. Four. Three, two, and one. Little squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those arms down. Remember, we want them long in front of us. Nice flat backs. We're going to make that V. Lift and down. Here we go. Up and in. Good. Lift and down. Lift and down. So from here, right away, through the shoulders, right? Lift through those shoulders in the back. Hold those weights. Find that resistance. Lift and down. Good. Up and down. Lift and down. Exhale on that pull. Little hold for a second. Nice. Let's go eight. Beautiful, you guys. Seven. Let's go six. Five. Last four. Three. Here it is. Two. We're going to hold it up. And ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep the back of the arms. Five, four, three, pulsing it in, and one, here we go, ten, nine, eight, you got it, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release those arms, Woo! good job you guys, excellent work, give those shoulders a little bit of a roll, we're actually going to stretch on your chair or on your counter for that upper body, so I want you to take a second, you're going to grab whatever it is that you're going to for a little bit of support, and we're gonna bring it in onto the floor. All right, so stretching for that upper body right here, I want you to find your hands on your chair or your counter, whatever it is you have. You're gonna take that step back, and I just want you to sink down through those shoulders and get a nice stretch right here for me. Make the inhale, exhale, take it a little bit deeper if you can. Woo! Good work. You're gonna roll yourself up. So you roll up through that back. Bring yourself all the way up and out. Good job. All right, so we're gonna take it to our legs for our next section. So I want you to find, find yourself in a nice wide second position, okay? 
Okay, we're gonna start here and we're gonna work our way in till we're facing the bar eventually. So wide second position. You want those toes to take slightly turned out. With this one, we're not taking it into that sumo squat, right? We're gonna take it into our PA squat. So we wanna have those knees tracking the toes and we wanna send our weight right down the center. So we're trying not to stick that bum out and come too far forward, right? So we're gonna send that weight all the way down. So up nice and tall, roll the shoulders down the back. Hand can be lightly on the bar, and then our other hand kind of be on our hip, or for a little bit more work, we can bring it out to the side. So standing up nice and tall, we're just going to start with a simple plie, coming all the way down and all the way up, coming down and up. Good. So that nice squeeze through the inner thighs as we come down and up. Good. I want you to think about pressing the feet, the, set, the heel of the foot, and the center of the foot into the floor as we come down. And up, good. Sitting up to the inside of the legs, keeping that core nice and tight. Beautiful, good. And that nice down and up, good. Down and up, nice. Let's go eight and up. Here's seven and six. Beautiful, you guys. Here's five. Now, in favor, we're gonna hold it down. Four, we're gonna get nice and deep. We're gonna pulse. Three, good job. Here's two. Last one, we're gonna hold. We're gonna go ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come all the way up, and this time we're gonna come up onto those toes if we can. So still in that wide position, we're gonna raise ourselves all the way up. We're gonna go plie. So we're gonna come down and up. Good. So a little bit more of a challenge coming up onto those toes. If you find it's too much, again, you can lower those heels to the ground, right? We want to press through those calves. And again, we're keeping that bum tucked as we come all the way down, pulling up through the inner thigh. Good job. And down and up. Beautiful, you guys. Breathing over here. We're going to go eight and up. Good. Seven. Here's six. Nice. And five. Okay, so we're going to hold the pulse. Here's four. Good job. Let's go three. Last two. Good, and one more, we're gonna pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we're gonna hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, squeeze the bum, 4, 3, 2, and 1. You're gonna release those heels, bring yourself all the way up. Let's walk those feet all the way together. All right, so out of the third wide second position, we're gonna take it back to that first position. So remember, heels are together, we want a slight turn on in those toes, hands light on the bar, hand on the hip, or we're going to take it out to the side. We're going to start those plies again. So making that nice diamond position with our knees as we open up and then draw ourselves back in. So we're going to go down and up. Good. Down and up. Now, it doesn't have to be too deep. I want to make sure that you're not sticking your butt out, right? Tuck it in, pull it up. Good. Tuck and pull. And again, we're really thinking about those inner thighs doing that pull as we come up. Good. Down and up. Beautiful. Keeping those heels on the ground. We're going to go eight, seven. Now we're going to hold it. Six, five, four. Good. Three. We're going to do two different pulses. One, hold it down. We're going to pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, we're gonna hold it down, we're gonna tap those hips and squeeze the bum when we tap. We're gonna tap and release. Good, tap and release. Staying in that, walk that plie position. We're gonna tap and release. Now the tap is coming from the squeeze of that bum. We're gonna go six and out. Here's five. Last four, good work. Let's go three. Here's two, nice. And one, good job you guys. We're gonna bring ourselves all the way up. Now we're gonna raise up on those toes just like that wide second. So you're gonna come up onto those toes. When we get here, let's pull ourselves together. So heels together, calves together, right? Everything should be nice and tight. Hand on the hip or out to the side. We're gonna add that plie. So we're gonna come down and up. Good, down and up. Now, open up those knees, right? Squeeze the inner thighs, good. We're gonna come down and up. Down and up, good. Pull, down. And up. Now, again, if it's too much, come on those toes. Down to those heels. Good. Down and up. Down and up. Last eight. We're going to hold and pulse. Seven. Here's six. Five. Good work. Let's go four. Three. Two. We're going to hold it down. Ready? Ten. 
nine, eight, our pulses from in, thighs from the glutes, six, five, four, three, two, hold it down, and add that tap, tap, and release, good, tap, and release. Now it's that squeeze, little movement, right? Because it's just the bum, we're doing the squeeze. We don't want to pull from the hip flexor, squeeze that bum. Let's go six, woo, five, almost there, we're shaking, four, that's a good thing, three, two, last one, and one. Good job. Bring yourself all the way up. Release those legs. Give them a little bit of a shake. Good job, you guys. All right. Now we're going to turn and face towards either our chair or our counter. We're going to take it into a lunge position this time. We're going to start with the left leg back so that the right leg is going to push, and then we'll switch, and we'll do everything on the other side. So, fingers are lighter on the bar. All right. We're going to be up nice and tall. We're going to start with just that simple step back into the lunge, right? So we're going to come down and up. Now it's a nice quick movement, right? We're not slow. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Nice. Six. Five. Four. We're going to hold it back. Three. Two. Good. And one. When we come up, we're going to find that static position for that lunge down. So we're going to come down and up. We're right here. Down and up. Down. I want you to push through this right leg, right? Squeeze through the quad, squeeze through the glutes. Down and up. Down and down. Nice and down. Beautiful. Let's go four or five. Four. Three. Two. We're going to hold it down. And one. We're going to add a little pulse here. We're going to go ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Try to get low. Four. Three, two, we're gonna hold it down, we're gonna add a heel lift. So we're gonna lift up and down, up and down. Now, we're tall, core is engaged, squeeze into those glutes, good, up and down, lift and down. Let's go six, Woo. five, hold it, hold it, four, here's three, two, we're gonna hold that heel up, and one, we're gonna add a little pulse here, ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Bring those legs up, give them a shake for me. Excellent, you guys. Let's have a quick stretch before we take it to the other side. If you're feeling it in this right side, let's grab some toes, square up those hips. Take a second and grab a quick drink of water if you need to be here. Oh my goodness. All right. And let's just release that leg. Let's move to that other one real quick. Just give it a little bit of a stretch. All right, we're gonna go into the left side. 10 step backs, 10 static lunges, and then all of those pulses and those heel lifts on this other side. And then we'll take it to the back then just for a little bit of an extra finisher. Good work, all right. So left leg is gonna stay forward. We're gonna be up nice and tall. We're gonna start with that simple step back into that lunge. So we're gonna Step and up. Good. Step and up. Now, we're going to quick, right? You want to be in that motion. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Let's go six. Five. Four. Here's three. We're going to hold it. Two. And one. Find that static lunge position. So put it back, ready? Right? We're going to come down and up. Down. So back knee. Underneath that hip just a little bit, right? We're gonna press to that front leg. Down and up. Let's go six. Nice. Five. Here's four. Three. We're gonna hold it. Two. Little pulses. And one. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Woo! Five. Four. Three. Squeeze that left cheek. Hold it down. Move that heel lift. We're gonna come up and down. Good. Lift. And down, sweep that right and left front cheek. Up and down, lift and down. Nice, six, five, almost there. Four, we're gonna hold that heel up. Three, you guys are with me, I know you are. Two, last one, and one, little pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, come all the way up and out. Ooh, burn through those legs. Jack, I know you're out there. I know you're feeling this with me. <laughs> All right. Oh, grab a quick drink of water. Let those legs come down for just a second. They're probably pretty shaky. We're going to take it now into the posterior. So we're going to go into the glutes, into the hamstrings a little bit. 
right or left arm. We want to have a 45 degree angle on our chair or our counter. We're going to lightly rest this left arm on the bar or on our counter chair. We're going to step back just a little bit. We want to extend that right leg back. Left leg is going to be forward. It's going to be our supporting leg. It's going to have a slight bend in that knee. That right leg is going to come back nice and long. And we want to add a lift, lifting through the glute, right? So we're going to bring that leg up and down. Lift and down. Now, nice and strong. My lift is coming from my glute. So when I lift from my butt cheek, right? If it's just a little lift, that's okay. Right? As long as this is doing the work. Good. And lift and down. Core is engaged. I'm not leaning on my bar, right? It's just here for a little bit of support. Lift and down. Good. Eight. Seven. You guys have got this. Six. Last five. We're going to hold it up. Four. Here's three. Good. Two. We're going to hold it and pulse, ready? Right? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. We're going to hold it up. I want you to flex that foot. We're going to curl that heel to the bum using those hamstrings. So we're going to curl it in and release. In. So find that pull. Really think about engaging through that hamstring as we pull it in and out. Good. In and release. Release. Good. In and release. Nicely done. Last eight. Here we go. Eight. Seven. I want you to hold that foot in. Six. On our last one. Five. You got it. Four. Last three. Woo. Two. Here it is. Last one. And one. Little lifts. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Extend that leg out. Bring it down and release. Give that butt cheek a little second here. Bring that right foot forward if you need to. Hinge at those hips and stretch that out. Good job. Nicely done. All right. Let's bring ourselves all the way up. Now, you guys are going to take it to the other side. All right. So we're going to come into that right elbow or that left. Totally depending on what side you're on. Okay, you're going to find that right arm on the bar. We want a slight bend in that leg. Left leg is going to come back nice and long. We're going to be up nice and tall. We're going to add that lift again, all right? So squeeze the glutes. We're going to lift and down. Squeeze and down. Good. Engage that core. Light on the bar. Lift and down. And right away, thinking about squeeze the bum, right? To get that leg to lift all the way up. Good. Lift and down. Nice and strong right here, you guys. We're going to come up and down. Lift and down. Beautiful. And down. A little bit of a bend in that right knee. Last eight. Here we go. Eight. Seven. You guys are doing great. Six. Five. Nice and strong. Four. Here's three. Two. We're going to hold it. Ready? And up a little. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, hold it up, and one, flex that foot. We're gonna curl, feel the bum, and release. So when I pull, and right away, you feel that hamstring, pulling my heel in. Pull, and release, good. Pull, and release. Again, core is engaged, light on that bar. Good job, you guys. Pull, and release, beautiful. In, and out, in, and out, nice. All right, here's our last eight, ready, eight. We're gonna hold it up, seven, we're gonna little pulse. Six, heels must be curled above. Five, four, almost there. Three, we're right here with you. Two, it burns. And one, little pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Bring that leg down, release. And let's find a stretch again. All right, left foot forward, into those hips. Nice stretch right here. Woo! All right, those legs should be shaky. You should feel it in those glutes for sure. Good work. Into those hamstrings a little bit. Let's finish you guys off with a quick core exercise. And then we'll come into our stretch because we are all some time. So you can remove your bar or your chair or whatever it is that we're using. All right, we're going to come down to the ground. And I'm going to give you guys a few options. We'll start all together with the, with the easier options. 
and draw it in. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Here we go. So we're gonna do 10 and out. Nine, eight. So this one, seven, is to get that back on the floor. Good. Keep that tummy drawn in. Five. Good. Four. Let's go. Three. Two. And one. We got one more set. Here we go. Ten. Nine. We're ten on each side. Eight. Seven. Fingers are light behind those ears. Good. Chin is off the chest. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. All right. So we're going to bring those shoulders down to the ground. So that's your first one that you want to start with. We're going to lower abs into the core. Okay. Our next one, we're going to do the same position. We're going to extend that leg out and we're going to draw it in. If it's too much, have that leg come all the way out. If your back is lifting or it's too hard on your core, you're feeling it in the lower back, you can go back to those heel taps. And we're going to try to extend that leg out and pull it in. Again, we're going to do 10 on each side, all right? So set yourself up. Come to that nice and pull. We're going to go 10. Add in. 9. Add in. Good. 8. Try and draw that tummy and keep that back flat. Good. Let's go 6. You can always bring those shoulders to the ground. You find it's too much. Four, three, two, and one. Last set. Here we go. Let's go ten. Make sure that those knees don't come past that ninety. Eight, seven. Here's six, five, four. Beautiful. Last three, two. Nice stretch. 
right here. Excellent. Well, I hope you guys had fun. Work. And bring yourself all the way up. You got a great workout in for the day. Let's switch. Let's go to the other side. Bringing that right leg onto the inside of the left. Turn and face that leg. And we're going to forward. Remember, if you like this video, you can always check it out again on our webpage or our YouTube channel. Good. Get a nice stretch right here. Beautiful, you guys. And bring yourself all the way up now. 